Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be taking a look at the Doogie N100. If you're after a budget friendly smartphone with crazy good battery life, I think I may have found the answer. Because yeah, the likes of the Moto G powers the Realme 6i, they really impressed with their 5000 milliamp cells, bigger than most premium flagship smartphones, but the Doogie N100 actually doubles that to a whopping 10,000 milliamp battery, and it does it for just around the 160 pound price point. You can grab it right now from the likes of Amazon and of course direct from Doogie. I'm gonna give you a full unbox right now so we can tour the hardware and the software, see exactly what you can expect if you decide to pick the N100 up. And for more of the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. So first up, let's just quickly see what you get in the box besides the phone, well, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Do of course get the charger which is thankfully a type c not a micro usb piece of horribleness uh, you also actually get a little a type c to headphone jack adapter as well which is uh, quite rare to find even in premium flagship phones these days they've pretty much given up with those and uh, a bit of the uh, plug adapter as well this is the european model hence it's a two pin effort and you do get a little pokey pin device to actually get your sim in the bad boy as well so now let's actually check out the smartphone itself and unsurprisingly for a uh, mobile device that rocks a 10,000 milliamp battery it is an absolute godzilla so as you can see there quite obviously a bit of a chunky monkey and also got a serious heft to it as well it's 267 grams this doogie n100 so you'll definitely feel it when it's stashed in your shorts that's for sure now doogie designs a lot of rugged smartphones and it certainly looks like the n100 could take a few knocks of its own you got a nice bit of tough metal edging and then around back a full leather finish as well. So no glass or anything like that that could be easily shattered. At least I'm assuming it's full leather for 160 quid. I'd be very surprised if it's the real thing. Of course, you don't call it fake leather these days, do you? The popular term is vegan friendly leather. So there you go. There was no mention of military standard testing or waterproofing or anything like that in the Doogie specs, however. Um, so if you are looking for a true rugged smartphone, definitely go check out some of the rest of their range instead. So let's get the Doogie N100 all set up and then we're going to take a bit of a tour of the hardware the software everything else you need to know if you're tempted by this 10,000 milliamp monster so the doogie n100 is all set up and ready to rock and of course you'll notice straight away it uses a good bit of android but it has been uh, altered tweaked somewhat with doogie's own ui so as you see we've got these very square icons <laughs> super square in fact if you dive into the wallpaper selection it soon becomes very obvious that doogie is run by a bunch of goths because this is probably the brightest effort that they've got of the bunch let's set that there there we go lovely stuff that's when it's saturday night you got those happy vibes on the go. I'm just going to chuck one of my geeky anime efforts on instead. Got a bit of Akame Ga Kill. And with that in place, of course, it becomes quite obvious why you have those black backgrounds. It's to kind of mask the fact that you've got these massive chunky bezels surrounding the 5.99 inch display. It's one of the smaller displays on any smartphones from 2020. But of course, the device itself isn't compact because of that mighty 10,000 milliamp battery. One of the most annoying parts, of course, of the Doogie UI is the fact that it calls the apps tree as well. So unfortunately, like iOS, you have to slap all of your apps and tools and everything right there on the desktop so get used to using a lot of folders now you've got all the usual google apps slapped on here and quite a few doogie specials as well so you've got your tool bag for instance and this is kind of like a diy swiss army knife folder of apps so as you see there you've got your compass you've got your level uh you've got your height measurement all that kind of shenanigans good bit of protractor action flashbacks to primary school there well, unfortunately the doogie n100 is running android 9 rather than the fresh new android 10 i say fresh android 10 has been around for bloody yonks so we'll be getting android 11 soon uh, so i'm not sure if you're going to get the android 10 update here on the doogie n100 you could only hope but uh yeah not entirely 100 percent convinced by that so obviously no dark mode or any of that great stuff that you get in android 10 but you do get some advanced features on here or should i say an advanced feature which is a one-handed mode which is always helpful when you've got a big chunky device like this let's just give that a quick go boom there we go so that'll just reduce everything down make it nice and small so you can easily reach up to that notifications bar play around with your apps and everything else and that display is a five 5.99 inch IPS LCD panel, full HD plus resolution, so nice and crisp. Uh, so for 160 quid, again, seems pretty decent value. Those colours aren't exactly super punchy, they don't leap off the screen or anything, uh, but certainly if you're just going to be kicking back with a bit of Netflix, YouTube, whatever, it'll definitely do the job. And of course, it's a completely notch-free experience as well, which is great stuff, very rare these days. So if you want that full view finish for your movies, great stuff. You got full NFC support as well here on the Doogie N100, which is great to see on a budget blower. And around back, you've got your physical fingerprint sensor too. And so far, touch with that seems perfectly responsive. Tap, and within a second or so, you're into your desktop. So the Swift is around, but it seems to work every time. 
And on the N100, we've even got a bit of face unlock action as well. So all you really need to do is tap that power button, it'll scan for your mug, and there you go. Of course, the performance is understandably basic. You get a MediaTek Helio P23 chipset backed by four gigs of RAM. I mean, touch wood, so far the performance seems all right, despite the fact it's still busy setting itself up and everything. I've seen, obviously, a few little stutters and stammers here and there. So we'll see. I reckon for your everyday performance, it'll be all right, as long as you don't mind a little bit of jankiness here and there. And if there are any benchmark enthusiasts out there, this is the Geekbench 5 results. As you can see, very, very basic performance at best, 150 single core and 861 on the multi-core. So yeah, you want to be uh, limiting what you do with this bad boy. Storage is pretty much standard for this sort of budget price. You get 64 gigs slapped on there, although it's not expandable via micro SD. And then around back on the Doogie N100, you've got a dual lens rear camera, 21 megapixel primary lens using Sony's IMX230 sensor and an eight megapixel secondary camera. So the camera experience is pretty basic. You can, of course, snap away if you like. You've got your beauty mode, which can enlarge your eyes and slim your face if that's what you're into. Uh, portrait style mode, adding a bokeh effect in the background. Not sure how good the edge detection will be, but at least you've got that dual lens setup. Uh, you've got a bit of black and white action if you want it. And then a very simple pro mode as well with just basically white balance, ISO level, and then the exposure as well. As you see there, video quality is actually at 720p by default, but you can bump it all the way up to a, a mighty 1920 uh, by 1080 full HD effort instead. And if you want to take a selfie, you do have an 8 megapixel front facing camera as well, which I'm sure would be absolutely fine just for your simple shareable shots. You've actually got a flash up front as well, which I didn't even notice originally, uh, which is quite cool. So it's, it's kind of features you don't actually get on a lot of premium flagships these days. So you go, you can even take a selfie at night, huzzah. And then, of course, there's one of the main reasons for buying the Doogie N100, and that is the whopping 10,000 milliamp battery. So what I'm going to do now is a brief battery test, just going to basically play a video for a full hour on top screen brightness and see how it fares. So here we go. The battery is currently on 84%. We've got Howl's Moving Castle streaming on Netflix on top screen brightness uh, over Wi-Fi. So we're going to see uh, how much battery is depleted at the end of an hour and then at the end of the full film. Right, so we've been streaming Hell's Moving Castle for precisely an hour, and as you can see there, the battery has depleted to 80% from 84. So just a 4% drop in one hour of full-on video streaming with the screen brightness turned up to max. And there we go, Hell's Moving Castle is finished, and uh, it is a two-hour extravaganza, so we've had another hour of playtime, and we've drained another 4% of the Doogie N100's battery life. So there you go, an entire two-hour film, only 8% of the life drain, impressive stuff. And there you have it, that in a nutshell is the Doogie N100. So certainly if you take a lot of long, long, long trips uh, where you're not going to be able to charge up your smartphone, you want to stay entertained on the go, you can watch many, many epic films back to back. You can basically do all of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films and uh, probably only drain this thing about 50%. And with that rugged finish, looks like it could be good for a good bit of outdoor use and everything as well. Quite limited performance and the camera's probably not going to be anything particularly great, but there you have it. So what do you think of the Doogie N100? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Please do pop subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers.